these slightly longer ones, I think. No, I actually these are the same screws, but hey, if they fit, what does it matter? <sighs> okay. Oh, wait, I think they might have included screws. That makes sense if they did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> might have been a little smarter. Check this bag first, but I forgot about it. That explains why I couldn't get those screws going. <laughs> so here, I just screw the screws in. And I looked for like, I tried to get other screws to go for like an hour or two. No, it was probably like a half hour, but still. And I finally found out that it came with its own screws, which is really dumb of me, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's just going off of, not going how quick, I'm just going how, if I can get built in general, and I achieved that. And I get distracted and bored, so I look at the IO shield and stuff, and now I get up and I'm trying to organize my screws a little bit. I have them like everywhere. Some on my desk, some on the windowsill. <laughs> but it's organized madness right there. And on the left there you see all the cords. Like it's massive amount of cords. And later you'll see me try and find where they all plug in. And it's hard to get the side panel fit on too. Actually recently I installed zip ties before I just like smashed it all in. I don't think that's part of the video. Or it might be. I don't know. We'll see. This is looking like a real computer now. Looks amazing, actually. <laughs> got everything on. Now I just got put in CD drive, hard drive. Oh, hard drive's over here. CD drive's over there. And I'm pretty sure that's it. We'll see here. Went CPU, motherboard, paid on. Um, graphic card, um, power supply, yeah, that's it, oh, and I gotta connect the front panel jacks, which is gonna be a pain, maybe I should have done the connections before I put in my GPU, but hey, live and learn, it's not that hard to take out anyway, <laughs> I gotta do all the wiring and connections. Great. Let's get some play on the inside there. So it actually looks really nice and clean on the inside. <laughs> That's because I don't have anything connected. Okay, so. What's this? Oh, yeah, I had to unplug the um, fan for the CPU while I was screwing in the screws. Because there was a screw right there. It was just bugging me, so I was just like, whatever, leave it later. What I do right now is I, um, I count the pin. I know how, where any of the cables went to, so what I did was I'm counting the pins, and then I'm finding a cable with the same amount of pins. And it took a while, because I had, like, 50 cables to go through, but, I mean, there's some cables, like the motherboard cable. It's like 24 or 26 pins or something like that, and that's a lot of pins. Like, it's not hard to find. But there are some others that were interesting. Like, I didn't know how SATA had its own little SATA-like port thing. I thought you had to use the um, auxiliary cable, which... Or, or something like that. It has pins instead of just a SATA connector-like thing. And I actually, interestingly enough, in the motherboard box, I saw it came with some of those. But guess I didn't need it. And I spent forever looking for them, too. That's what tripped me up most with the power supply. Okay, time for the hard drive and the um time for the hard drive and C D drive. This hard drive. This hard drive. Alright, all I connected was the motherboard, the fan to the motherboard, and this to the PSU. So I know I gotta connect the, um, the case comes with its own fan controller up top, and I need to connect that. 
There's that notebook back here. But I don't know what um, the motherboard, I mean, what the computer parts go to, so I'll just save that for last. Man, this is like zip tie. It's like shrink wrapped or something. Humid dry. There's humid dry pack in there. <laughs> I'm just grinding myself because, I don't know, being precautious. My feet are on carpet, so I can make a little bit of friction. Don't want it to build up too much. Humor dry! <laughs> this is a nice drive. 640 gigabyte. That's a good start. Probably upgrade it eventually. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, nice and easy. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, I also got this case because all the really nice tool is everything. <laughs> what happened here was um, I actually somehow broke the tool list thing. Like, I mean, you had to push it out to get it to like screw in with the hard drive. I somehow pushed it out all the way. Or first, right now I was think figure out how to do it, and soon, see here. Now I pushed out all the way and kind of broke it. But I mean, I got it back in eventually. Well, actually I switched it, but I got it back in after that. I think off the video. But <laughs> spent a while trying to do that. It's kind of funny all my mistakes. Like even with the easiest things, like the toolless stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's nice that it's toolless. Like. Imagine how bad it would have been if it wasn't. But I got all the Tula stuff because my case is awesome. Actually, CD drive was so easy to put in. Like, literally, it was pressing a button and then putting it in and then pressing another button. So easy. Also, in this little clip, you see how I broke it and then I was trying to get in forever. And eventually, I just switched it out. Just wanted to add that in. See, look, I just take another one out. I'm just like, you know what, I was just pretending that, that never happened. And I get it in, first shot, and works. Actually, I got another hard drive too, a 1.5 terabyte, SAS 6 gigabit per second, so that's great. I needed it for my Fraps drive, and because you can't record to the same hard drive you're playing on, the Fraps or else it lags, and I don't want that. Now I get 60 frames per second, okay. easy. I guess I must, somehow messed up one of these, so I just put it back. And now I got my hard drive in. Nice and easy. Just clip it back in. We're all good. Now I gotta find the set of cable that I took out earlier. Here we go. We have seems to be power extender. A SATA. Another set up. That's always nice. That's good to have. No set up. Set up six gigabits per second. Great. It's just what I need, so I'll go around back. Find the connection. Okay, I have no idea how our drives connect. Gotta look at the ports. For me, at the first look, SATA was so confusing. Like, I saw I had the cables, but at the back of the hard drive, there are like three or four different ports that you could use. Like, for manual and SATA connections, I guess. And, like, I was so confused because I was like, does it power itself? Like, does SATA provide power? Just like HDMI provide sound? Or whatever, but eventually I figured it out, I corded it through, and I got it, and I fig finally figured it out, but it was a pain, <laughs> first, just, I just stared at the hard drive for like ever, I was just like, what the hell am I doing, <laughs> but eventually I got it, I found where it connects and everything, 
So with the CD drive, I'm just going to fast forward through and tell you what happened. So what happened was I got this really great deal on Amazon, $5 CD drive. It was refurbished, but I mean it was $5. I mean, who cares? So the CD drive is the least compatible thing like you'd think. Like RAM, you have to get what channel and stuff, and you have to get the motherboard with CPU. I mean, you think the CD drive just works with everything. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> There's something called um, an IDE CD drive and a SAS CD drive. Um, that's the technology it uses. My motherboard's new and it uses SATA. And apparently this one didn't. So I, I shipped it back for about like, actually it was $5, it was $10. And I shipped it back for $5, I got $5 back. So I lost $5 on that, whatever. And later on Newegg, I bought a $15 one, I think. Made sure it was Sports SATA and got it. So, works now, but right now I'm just looking puzzled at it. I'm like, what the hell? Because there was annual um, power and everything, and I had no idea if it would work or how or. Ugh, oh my god, it was just a pain. But I mean, there's so many frustrating things about this. But I finally got it working. And I got a prettier CD drive now. It's pretty quiet and it's really cheap. I guess I'll look into that later. Oh well. I got much other stuff. So, but as far as I'm pretty sure, I got this all built up. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> I think it's gonna take like a while. Okay, so just connect a few more cables. Okay, well, I got a ton of cables back here. I want to see what these cables are. So, I'm plugging in all the cables, find out what they do. See me? See, I'm, that's real time right there. I'm working super fast. No, okay. That's fast forward. And it took about, well, it didn't take too many minutes. About 10, maybe 20, I don't know. But it was pretty easy. I mean, it's just simple. Look, reading it, figuring out where I put it. And I am really worried about cable management. As I said before, I did that recently. Wasn't too bad anyway. My motherboard, or my case actually came with zip ties, which was cool. So, I'm getting it all connected, hooked up hard drive, and it's... I gotta read the case's manual to find out what all these buttons go to. And then I will boot it up. So right now, I have everything done, as far as I know. Hint, hint. <laughs> You'll find out about it later. But I have everything done except the hard drive activity light, the power light, power button, and the ports on the front and stuff. You know, the top of the computer has the light and button and everything. Yeah. So I need to hook that up. And little do I know, that is the biggest pain ever. Like, fast forward at 500%, 5 times speed, it's still like 3 minutes. So do the math. That's like a while. First, I looked in the motherboard. I first I looked in the case manual. Couldn't find anything. Then you can see me open up the motherboard manual. See, I finally find something. I think, or maybe it takes me forever. I don't know. But it was in the motherboard manual. It was just hard to find. So then, what I have to do is I have to get all the cables out. They're tied together in the back. There's a zip tie. Actually, I have to untie. That's why I'm back there. Um, and they, I find out they barely reach, like it's really close. So I finally get those out. And then there are these really tiny six pins that I have to plug them into. Like six pins is in six little, um, six little metal pieces sticking out right next to each other. And I have to plug six little pieces into each other. I have to have them facing the right way and all the right place and everything. And oh my god, it's such a big pain. So here I'm throwing it through. There we go. Pull it through the front. Now I totally forgot where they go, so I have to open the manual up again. Find out which is which, and then I realize they're labeled. So I look at the label, and I put it down. Sorry for the viewing angle, guys, but this is a big pain. And actually, I found out I put it on the hard drive activity light backwards, so I ended up having to um, switch that around. Thank God it didn't matter though. Like if it shorted it or whatever, that suck. 